the project was started at least 12 months ago with our contracts team working on pricing to set the budgets for the USAP. The machine was uh, driven out literally to the aeroplane uh, down on the ice. It was then flown into New Zealand where it was uh, driven out onto a transporter here and brought to the Christchurch branch for rebuild. Uh, Goff and Caterpillar have had a long-term relationship with USAP. Uh, Goff's involvement with the Antarctic program goes back to 1957. We started out repairing tractors 57 years ago and fast forward to today and we're still carrying on that relationship with USAP and Goff. There are a number of different departments that contributed to the rebuild of the tractor here at Goffs and Christchurch. We had the workshop who did the, uh, the strip down and the reassembly of the machine, a lot of the individual repairs. We had Goff Engineering who provided a lot of engineering work between the uh, engine block machining through to polishing the hydraulic cylinder rods to machining of individual parts. We had the Christchurch CRC who rebuilt all of the components and we had the contracts team and the parts department who were involved in the procurement of parts. There are a number of unique challenges with the job. The first one was around the timing of the machine arrival. It was uh, scheduled for a particular day and that kept on changing due to the weather when the flights were coming in. This machine is quite different to a D8R that we might see here in New Zealand. Uh, it's a custom built product by Caterpillar. A uh, couple of main differences are it has a different undercarriage, so it doesn't have a suspended bogey undercarriage like we'd normally see here in New Zealand or around the world. Uh, the other thing that is different about it is low ground pressure for working on the ice. This machine rebuild will take in excess of a thousand man hours. This is quite a lot more than what we see on a typical machine rebuild for a local market customer. Uh, and that's mainly to do with the fact that uh, you know, the level of detail that's going into this rebuild, um, mainly for making sure the machine is a top quality, but also to meet the expectations of the customer. The rebuild project for the CRC was well within its capabilities. It has the capacity to rebuild up to 80 components per month. So dealing with the 12 components that we had was well within their capacity. The engine rebuild consisted of a process of strip down in the strip down area. The engine and all of its components were then assessed, the parts list were built up and we conferred with the client to make sure that we were rebuilding to the standard that he required. The engine block and a few of the components were supplied to Goff Engineering. They were rebuilt or machined on the uh, Rottler Machining Centre. The new parts were obtained. We then reassembled the engine and built back up to a complete unit. After the engine and transmission were rebuilt, they both went through testing processes. The engine was put onto an engine dyno it takes about a day to set up on the dyno. It was run for four hours constantly, checked for performance, checked for horsepower output. The transmission went through the same sort of process on a different dyno. It went in and was run for an hour and a half. It was checked for its performance, checked for any external leaks and removed and then returned to the Christchurch branch to be reinstalled into the machine. Because of the application, there's been a number of modifications done, uh, like to the engine enclosures. Uh, that's to eliminate some of the weather and the effect it can have on the machine. So there's a lot of small modifications been incorporated into the repair to make the machine better suited to the environment. So some of the value adds we've added to the machine during the rebuild uh, were fitted uh, Caterpillar product link. Uh, this will enable data reporting for uh, machine health, uh, PM maintenance and fault codes. We have also added standalone cab heater. We've also added heater elements for heating the fluid compartments. Uh, this is to aid in reducing idle time, fuel usage and PM requirements.
We dealt with health and safety on the DA8 project as we would any other project. We had take five meetings, we had toolbox meetings, we used our risk assessment tools. Our management was involved throughout the process to make sure that steps were being taken and we focused on doing the right thing at the right time. This machine came to us with an excess of 13,000 hours on it from you. Uh, this rebuild should see it do in excess of that again. It should be as good as new, if not better, due to the level of care and responsibility that guys have put into it to get such a good product out of the end. The D8 uh, project was very successful. The whole team contributed. We finished on time and on budget, met the customers' expectations, and it will shortly be transported back down to McMurdo to go back into service.